touch here. Uh, by click here, and if you have already followed about our live stream, if you do have any questions about cassavas, uh, starch, flour, or gallery business, uh, easily to leave something in the comments. Our assistant will reach to you really soon. And by the way, our company has done the cassava, flour, starch, and gallery business about 10 years. Uh, we do accumulate so many experiences here. So if you do need anything, any equipment, or any protecting line here, uh, easily to leave something and I believe our assistant can give you the best solution for you and today's topic is about sharing the high efficiency cassava flower protecting line uh, cassava flower or starch protecting line so if you're interested about starch business flower business or gallery business leave something in the comment our assistant will reach to you really soon and we do have the best engineering team in China you can easily to compare our equipments with other companies or with other countries' equipments. You will know our equipments uh, have those kind of ability with uh, high, uh, high quality but relatively low cost. And today, uh, the topic is, is basically about showing you every details about cassava flour, cassava starch, or potato starch, sweet potato starch uh, protecting line. And if you do need anything about uh, starch equipment or the whole protecting line, just easily to leave something in the comment. Our assistant can uh, show you more details really, really soon, like to show you more 3D videos or pictures or our provides clients, uh, their feedbacks or our provides. Hey, how are you, Tommy? Location at uh, Milling because I supply cassava from me. Yeah, sure. By the way, and we do have our own overseas company, uh, which is located in Nigeria. How are you, Tommy? Uh, this is Oliver from Honan Dream Company. Uh, you are really curious about cassava uh, business, right? I supply cassava from Medano. Where is that? Uh, like uh, currently, we are doing the live stream on Alibaba at the same time, and if you'd like to check about the 3D video about the cassava business, like the cassava flower, cassava starch protecting line. I will let our, you can easily type something, I will let our assistant to uh, reach to you. Like uh, you can easily tell us about your WhatsApp number. Hold a second, let me tell my assistant to put the WhatsApp number at the bottom here so that you can easily come uh, to Alibaba or we can have a change up about our number if you do need anything or if I do, we do, need anything, all right? Hold a second, let me... And if you do have any questions about cassava starch business or cassava flower business, uh, leave something. Uh, like... Uh, We are, uh, where is location here in Cebu? Oh, cool, that is so cool. Like, our equipment has been shipped to all over the world, about 100 countries. So, uh, yeah, especially in uh, tropical area and subtropical area countries, we all have our provides clients. And if you do want to check about the uh, equipment or check about the whole protecting line in your own eyes, uh, we can show you our, uh, at our provides case about uh, what, what kind of uh, equipments they have before. And uh, yes, currently let's directly check about the cassava uh, starch protecting line. And uh, our assistant will come to the YouTube live really, really soon and put our WhatsApp number there. So you can easily add about a WhatsApp number to show you more 3D videos, more pictures, and more uh, single details about every protecting line. Yeah, cassava protecting machines, thank you so much. Please put our WhatsApp number at the bottom for this live uh, because I noticed that Tommy is really curious. My no yeah. And currently, let's just directly check about the cassava starch protecting line and show you about what kind of equipment or what kind of, uh, like, the, 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 whole line about the cassava starch protecting line here. 
Yeah, you get you guys can check. This is basically about our all equipments inside of the cassava starch protecting line. And uh, later I will show you every single details. Our uh, company has done the starch business and the cassava flour business about 10 years. So we do accumulate so many experiences here. Uh, our office and our factory, it is all located in Henan province and China. But we do have our overseas, com uh, overseas office, which is located in Nigeria. So if you need anything, uh, easily type it in the comments. And first, you guys can see this is our vibration scythe. Uh, this is a feeding hopper here. Oh, okay, looking for cassava milling. Oh, that is so cool. And Tommy, if you are looking for cassava milling here, please, please uh, directly add out uh, about our WhatsApp number because we have this equipment and it is relatively high quality. And later I will show you every details about this kind of a milling machine or cutting machine or rasper here. So if you do need, please add about a WhatsApp number here. Yeah, yes, we can provide this machine correctly. And the first one, it is about the feeding hopper. You guys can check at the bottom for this feeding hopper, there is a vibration equipment, which is uh, keep vibrating to put all the uh, materials and all the, oh, let me lower. Let me put myself a little bit lower so that you guys can see it more clearly. Yeah, the first one, this is our uh, like feeding hopper. Due to the irregularity of the cassava tubers, uh, the bottom of the feeding hopper is equipped with a vibration discharge device to prevent material clogging and crush, uh, crushing the material on the be uh, belt conveyor during the feeding process and at the same time it can also achieve the purpose of uniform feeding so to lower the pressure for the later equipments and this is our feeding hopper here and then we place about the build conveyor to do the transportation job to make this whole protecting line more smoothy more fluent and the next one it is our dry scythe which the dry scythe, uh, it is really high efficient to remove the impurities on the surface of potatoes, sweet potatoes and cassava tubers. And the outlet, it is at the bottom and it is widely used in re uh, impurities removal for starch business. Okay, I mean, I'm looking for cassava milling here. I provide a supply cassava. Oh, sh cool. That, that, that is cool. You can add about our... Uh, or you can just email us. I mean, I'm looking for cassava meeting here. So if you, I provide to uh, supply cassava. Yes, cool, sir. I mean, uh, if you do need uh, equipment there, I, I mean, our equipment have been shipped to all over the world, about 100 countries. And if you'd like to get this equipment, we can uh, like, uh, hey. Uh, Abu, welcome to the live. This is Oliver from Honan Dream Company. And if you do need that equipment, I'm sure we can provide you about this equipment. Really high efficiency and with a, real, a relatively high quality, but the price it is relatively low. You can compare it with other companies or other countries' equipment. I'm sure you will totally satisfy with our equipment. And the next one, uh, yeah, this one it is our dry scythe. Uh, there are multiply inner spiral design. It is adopted to push the raw materials moving forward. It has a really reasonable rotating speed, which can guarantee the machine running smoothly and make the material free of the damage. Because as we all know, we are right now we are uh, currently pro uh, protecting the uh, the starch. And uh, if at the washing part or the cleaning part, if the material it is damaged or the starch content will automatically change into like the sugar content. It will totally affect the final amount for the starch. So for this dry sack, uh, the structure, it is relatively simple. You guys can check it is just like uh, equipment is keep rotating and remove uh, the impurities on the surface of the potato, sweet potato and cassavas. Um, I mean, removing the dirt sand, small stones, weeds, or other impurities. And uh, normally we will suggest our uh, clients to set this equipment at the bottom, uh, at the outside. Uh, do, you want to, do you want to purchase a cassava milling machine or you just supply for cassava? 
I'm sure he is looking for a uh, cassava milling equipment in his country. And uh, uh, normally we will suggest our uh, clients to set this dry side at the outside for the workshop to make sure the whole workshop it is clean. And uh, if you'd like to know more details for this dry side, uh, type something in the comments. Our assistant will reach to you really soon and show you more details, more like working videos about this equipment so that you can you, you get the chance to know more for these equipments. And let's keep checking the video here. After you can you guys can see at the bottom, this is the outlet, and this is the cassava outlet. And then we have this, uh, paddle washing equipment, which it is suitable for cassava tubers more. Uh, but if you'd like to have the potato or sweet sweet potato business, this equipment, uh, it is not that suitable. Uh, you 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 guys can choose about another equipment which what we call it, like rotary washing equipment. And let's check about this equipment. Uh, it adopt countercurrent washing principle by the effect of paddle rotating, the raw material flows in the converse direction against to the water current, which makes the washing completely and uh, eliminates sand and mud really effectively. And according to your different output, uh, you can choose the size of the model according to the dirt adhesion, degree of the materials, cleaning difficulties, uh, it, uh, this equipment can made into a double slot or multi-slot cleaning uh, machine in order to prolong the cleaning process. And it has a really simple structure, uh, easy to handle and a really large capacity, saving a lot of energy and low water consumption, which is really important. And uh, have a really stable operation and low material damage which can improve extra rate of st uh, starch processing. And by the way, talking about this equipment, there's one thing uh, I, I'd like to show you, uh, which is our special, special design here. My know your contact information, so we can send some files about the local project case for your reference. Yes, exactly. Uh, Tommy, if you're still here, uh, we do have a really special design for this equipment. There is a bottom net, which uh, we set it at the bottom for this paddle washing equipment. Because of the different gravity, the fine sand and the cassava that will be separated to ensure the cleaning effect. And at the bottom, there is a butterfly valve. It is installed below, so the stand can be opened regularly to, to remove the impurities. In addition, the inner uh, equidistant internal has a stone sink design, uh, like the stone or iron or other heavy object can be deposited in this place. The protection line can be manually cleaned after the whole processing line it is shut down. And I mean, without these devices at the bottom, like the bottom net, like the uh, stone sink design, or only with one or two sand removal nets, uh, it, it may not be possible to clean the cassava thoroughly. So this is our paddle washing equipment, which is relatively high efficient and uh, uh, like a job to counter current washing principle. And in the in, inside of this equipment, it is like reusing about the water. So it has a re relatively low water consumption. But at this part, you guys can see this part at the outlet, it's by using a, about the clean water to make sure the final washing uh, uh, washing effect. And this is our paddle washing equipment. If you'd like to know more details for this one, uh, if you'd like to start your own uh, cassava business, especially for uh, cassava tubers or cassava, uh, cassava flour, or cassava starch, this one, it is relatively, relatively high efficient to, uh, to, 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 to make it. And this is our cassava paddle washing equipment, and if you'd like to uh, know more for the uh, potato or sweet potato equipment, you can or type something in the comments, our assistant will show more our profile case, uh, our local project case, yeah, local project case for your reference. That is a really good phrase, I will take it, I will mark it. And let's keep checking about this video, and if you do have any questions during, I'm showing you the videos or the uh, equipments here, it easily type something in the comments, alright? 
And we do have another build come here to do the transportation. And this one, Tommy, if you still here, currently we are showing you about the processing part. And for this one, it, it is our cutting equipment here, cutting machine, uh, which for this equipment, we also have like a very special design for these equipments. I mean, for the processing part, we are using two kind of equipment. And this one, it is called cutting machine. And the second one, it is our, uh, <clears throat> another cutting, uh, it is rasper. <clears throat> the, fir the first is raw material crushing because the cassava tuber is relatively large and it has more fibers. Here we use the way of pre-crushing uh, pre and slowly crushing two levels of treatment. Pre-crushing we use about seg uh, segmenting machine, which is uh, this cutting machine. Uh, the blade of this machine, it, it, it is made of like a high harness for CR13 material, which is kind of free grade stainless steel. And the kitchen utilities and the knives we usually use are made of this material. So it is really, really durable for cutting all the uh, cassava tubers into small pieces, like three to five uh, centimeters. And for this equipment, you guys can see there are two kind of knives at the, a top, uh, at the top. There is a keep rotating knife to cut all the cassava tubers into small pieces, like into three to five centimeters. And at the bottom, we set another stable knife there, which is also, uh, it is made of uh, for CR13 material, stainless steel material, very durable to ensure the final, uh, final pieces of the cassava tubers, it is like really small pieces. <clears throat> and all the knives, uh, the shape, it is like diamond shape, so it is relatively uh, really durable high efficient, really, really high efficient one. And after we obtain the small pieces, like three to five centimeters, uh, cassava tubers, uh, all the materials will directly get into the next part, which is our rasper. And if you, and if you do have any questions for this, uh, this uh, cutting machine or for the rasper here, uh, leave something in the comment, please. And after cutting the cassava, it is then put through a file grinder and slowly crushed. Uh, there is a magnetic separator here. Let me show you about it. Uh, I mean, uh, in the previous live, there are a lot of customer will come here and ask about the question, why our rasper, uh, like the knife on the rasper, it is damaged. So I have to change it a lot. It is because at the top for the rasper, we just set a magnetic separator, which can, which can separate about uh, the magnetic items. Uh, I mean, for this equipment, it is not expensive at all, but once mixed with the uh, nails or some iron items, it will totally damage for this whole file grinder. And the cost for the blade, it is relatively high. So this is, also our detailed consideration for the whole process. So yeah, after this magnetic separator and all the material will get into this rasper, which it is the main equipment in this whole processing line. There is a rotary drum. Uh, it is set inside of this rasper. The larger the output, the larger the diameter for this rotary drum. Uh, so there will, there will be more blades and the minimum output for, of the blade is in hundreds. The rotary drum is more than uh, 2,000 RPM high speed, which means this uh, rotary drum, it is rotating in a really high speed, 2,000 in one minute, 2,000 circle in one minute. And the blade out of the cassava block for file grinding tooth blade and the file grinding blade gap it is like two millimeters and the tooth spacing is about two millimeters. The file grinding machine bottom net it is about 1.8 millimeters wide strip mesh design. So it will not easy to cut the materials clog. That is very important. So the starch existence in cassava in the form 
of free starch and uh, bound starch, which is key equipment to improve the yield of starch. A relatively high equipment, and if you'd like to know more details for this equipment, uh, just easily type something in the comment. And uh, I just said this equipment is relatively high efficiency, like how high efficiency after the pre-treatment of the segment cutting machine of this rasper and the protection of the magnetic separator. The use of saw blade or file rasper will be greatly extended. Processing 3,000 to 5,000 tons of cassava is no problem. So you can use this equipment to deal with to, to, to rest, to rest 3,000 to 5,000 tons of cassava tubers. That is really, really durable equipment here. And why I say it is really uh, a good deal because uh, in the in the market there are a lot of different equipments here. Like uh, we do have the hammer breaking, or if some people we are using about the rotary knife breaking and some extra crusher. The configuration it is cheaper, but the degree of crushing it is not high. So it is like the same. Uh, if you pay more, you can get a high, uh, high quality equipment. But if you don't want to pay more, if you want the cheaper equipment, of course, uh, like the the final effect, it is relatively lower. The crash, uh, the crushing rate for this rasper can reach more than ninety six percent, but the hammer, like the hammer mill, can only reach to eighty percent, at most. So at this starch cannot be fully extracted and the starch yield will be gradually uh, greatly reduced. To, uh, let me give you an example. We did a starch project, project in 2017. It is a Nigerian customer and consideration of the limited budget, he finally shoot the hammer breaking hammer mill. And only like he have to use five or six tons of raw materials it can produce about one ton of starch, but using about our rasper, you can uh, produce one ton of starch by using four tons of um, uh, raw materials. So you guys can have a easily comparison, five or six tons of raw materials obtain one ton of starch, and four tons of raw materials can reach, can obtain one ton of uh, starch. That is really differs a lot. So if you'd like to uh, know more for this rasper here, uh, easily type something in the comment, our system will definitely reach to you as soon as possible. So uh, this is our rasper. And uh, let's keep checking the video here, the rasper. After the rasper, all the cassava tubers have already get into the milk shape, like the cassava milk here. And we will use our pump to do the transportation to put all the milk get into the centrifuge, centrifuge side here. Yeah, check about this centrifuge here. Relatively high efficient, and this is uh, this it is is inside. For the centrifuge side, uh, it is it is a kind of screen screening equipment, and mainly used in sweet potato potato or starch production line. Mainly used to screen sweet potato starch pump fiber components, improve the quality of the finished starch. And this starch centrifuge side level of sweet potato starch production line is generally determined according to the customer's designs. And uh, is often equipped with the uh, slag for the screening work. And especially for this one, it is uh, really have a simple structure. You guys can uh, generally have a check for this centrifuge side. Uh, it is mainly consists with a composed of like the screen door, the feed duct, the spindle motor, cycle basket, screen mesh, powder chamber, and slack chamber. And check about this centrifuge side. 
and uh, for this slurry, all the slurry enters uh, at the bottom for this scythe from one part, and under the action of centrifuge force, the slurry is evenly distributed uh, uh, along the screen surface and moves in the direction large diameter. In concealed basket of sweet potato starch centrifuge screen, the surface of the slurry by the uh, tangent line and the more line in two directions of the force together along the inner cone to do more complex curve movement until it reaches at the outer edge of the concealed side basket and the, the action of centrifuge force to support a round into a slight collecting uh, chamber. And due to the small diameter of the starch particles, it is not easy to pass through the mesh and gap valve of the screen under the action of centrifuge force and gravity uh, through the mesh or gap directly into the powder chamber. For the centrifuge type, it is like the very, very high efficient one. Uh, you can easily compare this equipment to any, any other equipment in the market, this one it is the most high efficient. I mean, in the market there are a lot of different type, and uh, there is a vertical type. Uh, for our for our equipment, it, the 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 speed, the rotary speed can reach to one uh one thousand two hundred, one thousand two hundred, uh speed one in one minute. But in like for the centrifuge one, it can at most reach to 600 to 800 in one minute. That is differs a lot. And for this centrifuge screen, it is mainly made of stainless steel material design. The, it is really clean and will, uh, it will not damage about the final quality for the starch. And it will not rust at all. The If you'd like to know more for this Centrifuge side, uh, type something in the comments. Vertical centrifuge side, the speed is up to 600 to 800 RPM, and the material it is easy to be thrown out, and the screen process it is shorter than our equipment, and the separation effect will not be very good. Or if you want to uh, uh, achieve the same separation effect, the vertical screen needs to be equipped with multiply sets in series at the same time. And the more the number of units, the natural overall power consumption and water consumption manually maintains cost will obvious increase a lot. So now this kind of technology is gradually phased out such as uh, uh, relatively bad work areas like uh, v uh, Vietnam or Thailand are still using this kind of technology. So this is our centrifuge, and normally we will using four or five of these centrifuge to working at the same time. You can generally have a check for this video, and if you'd like to know more for this centrifuge, uh, please, please say something in the comment to let me know that you are here and you are interested about this centrifuge. I can definitely try to show you more details for this centrifuge. Hi, how are you? Long way. Welcome to the live. How are you? This is Oliver from Honan Jin Company. Currently, we are showing about the cassava starch processing line. And if you do interested about the cassava starch or cassava flour potato or sweet potato starch business, type something in the comment to let me know that you're interested. Uh, this is Oliver from Honan Jin Company. Our company has done the starch and flour business above 10 years. We do accumulate so many experiences according to these 10 years. And currently this one, you guys can see, it, it, it is a, about our descender here. Due to the gravity and the weight for uh, the fine sand and the starch, it is different. So we do set several of these descender working at the same time to remove the sand really efficient. And after this one, all of the cassava starch will get into these equipment. <coughs> Hydraulic, hold a second, 
Uh, if you do have any questions for this equipment or if you'd like to know more details for this one, uh, please do type something in the comments. Let me know if you're uh, interested about this one, right? And right now you guys can see for this one, it is our hydraulic uh, hy hydrocyclone. It is the best equipment for refining, washing, and concentrating the crude starch milk after separating most of the protein and other uh, light subsistence by the separator. Uh, each by many groups of uh, countercurrent series, it can replace the separation you need to use and it has a small area uh, done with four centrifuge process. Uh, it do have a central, very simple structure. No vibration, really convenient to maintain it, uh, easy to maintain it, really, really com convenient, reliable operation and other a lot of advantages here and the production of the same quality for starch than the centrifuge process to save about 50 percent investment and it is easy to operate maintenance cost it is relatively low you just need to regularly wash it in two or three months so really easy to to, to clean about this equipment and uh, why do we need to use the uh, hydrocyclone Screened coarse, coarse starch milk contains a certain amount of protein. These protein particles are like very tiny, very small. By the time it's, it is too long, it can accumulate into a groove. So that is the separation effect. It's greatly reduced. So it should be separated as soon as possible. If the, pri uh, if the primary, primary separation is done by the separator, the refining and washing of starch can be completely by the six to nine stage cyclone and the overflow yellow pump can be recovered before the uh, returning to the separator and let me show you its inside. You guys can see for this equipment it is separated into three parts the first part, second part and the third part. And in the total cyclone process, because the coarse pulp directly enters in the cyclone group of uh, separation and washing, the secondary powder with a small proportion of protein will flow out uh, from the overflow port together with the yellow pump in order to improve the econo uh, economic benefits. The two parts of the cyclone have three to four groups of recycled cyclone and the recovered to secondary starch uh, slurry will flow back to the original slurry pour for separation. If high quality starch is needed to produce the recovered secondary starch should be stored by a uh, disposed of separately. You can check. And the hydrocyclone used the starch industry belongs to a liquid hydrocyclone. It is working principle is really similar to that of gas hydrocyclone and it is separated by the centrifuge force and suspension uh, with the different specific gravity of particle. The material enters in the tangential position of the cyclone tube at a certain pressure and rotates in the tube and produces a large, very, very strong centrifuge force. So the larger particles move down along the tubes and uh, tubes and discharge by the bottom of the flow hole. Well, the smaller particles will move up near the centrifuge and the discharge by the overflow port. The effect for this hydrocyclone, it is related to the series of the feed connection. The more equipment you have, the final quality for the starch, uh, it is relatively high. The more series, the more uh, high quality for the final starch. All the starch will get into this equipment in the middle and uh, for the left part and for the right part that is outlet. Normally we will have about 18 for this equipment to working at the same time. Uh, I want to explain more for this equipment. We all know the starch has the national standard, uh, like especially in different countries, the standard it is rel uh, relatively different, uh, including about the whiteness, the moisture, 
the ash, the protein, and other uh, inductors. If you do not have about the high requirements for the starch index, or you just want to achieve the simple concentration standard for reaching <coughs> dehydration, uh, then with six to eight level cyclone, it is also working, which is why the same automatic, uh, automatic production line, the price it is not the same because if you want to reach about the national standards or uh, uh, quality starch, you we strongly rec recommend you guys to get this eighteen hydrocyclone. According to the config configuration of our process, we uh, there is no problem to achieve the superior quality standard. Uh, moreover, the 18-stage cyclone includes recover part, which uh, will ensure the starch yield of the whole line. Uh, so we still have to make a plan according to quality requirements to finish starch, uh, so to give you the uh, a, a accurate equipment price, because different equipment means different price so please let us know what is your requirement for the final quality of the starch so that we can give you more suggestions And uh, there is one thing, our cyclone machine and the pipeline con connection between the cyclone, it is made all made of 304 stainless steel, the full grain material to ensure the quality of finished starch and uh, it, it can have a long working life. Uh, if the plastic pipe connection, if you are using a plastic uh, pipe connection, it will reduce some of the cost, but the service life will be gradually shortened. Welcome to the live. How are you? Kenny, welcome to the live. This is Oliver from Honan Jin Company. And if you'd like to have the starch or flower business, have something in the comment, let me know. Welcome, Carlin AH. How are you? Honda. Oh, you are looking for a camera. This is our hydrocyclone equipment here. For all of this pipe and for every equipment here, we are using about three or four three, uh, stainless steel food grade material. Consideration of the production of starch is generally 24 hours of continuity. Uh, if the stainless steel design of the Myra it is used, the night production will be totally re uh, affected. So right now we are using about mid stainless steel, there will be no such a problem. And for the sword tube that I just showed you guys before, it is also made of nylon 6-6 six, six foot grade material, which is one of the high strength and durability. Uh, domestic potato, like for our private clients, they have been using this equipment for about two years or about three years. They, there is not a problem with that. So it is really high quality. If you'd like to know more for this hydrocyclone or for any of the single equipment here, easily to type something in the comment. Let me know that you're interested about our equipment or our whole processing line. And for next one, it is about our dewatering equipment here. Check about this dewatering equipment here. For this equipment, the part of the device that touches for the cassavas for the potato or sweet potato is made of stainless steel blades. So no worry about this quality. And the drum of the sweet potato starch uh, dehydrator is cleaned by interminating cleaning. The lifter tank of sweet potato or cassava starch dehydrator is equipped with automatic reciprocating, reciprocating, reciprocating to prevent starch depredation and uh, uh, with no noise, stable work, good community, good continuity of work, easy operation, convenient maintenance, 
that is all about this the water equipment here how are you ladies and gentlemen welcome to the live this is Oliver if you'd like to know more information uh, please please do put your question in the comment to let me know that you're interested about this equipment so that I can definitely show you more about it no matter for potato or sweet potato or starch a uh, work uh, cassava starch you want to do you can all contact to us and ladies and gentlemen check about this equipment for this one there is a, a, also a very special design here you guys can check about the pipe here uh, for this one the web powdering materials especially for starch will add it into the feeding units and fed according to the amount by the speed regulating winch of the units and enter the hoist of the unit. The hoist rotates at, uh, at a really high speed, uh, dispersing the materials and throwing them into the drying pipe. The hot air and the wet materials it will be mixed in the drying pipe for the heat exchange to evaporate the water and to move rapidly in the pipe. After posing in the middle, uh, it dis uh briefly and exchange a uh, fully exchange about the heat the airflow drying system take the fine and the driving force to heat exchange at the wet material and hot air in the closed pipe to evaporate the water reduce the water content of the material so it can meet the standard for the requirement and join the moisture through the gas solid separation of the side uh, cyclone separator to obtain the raw material here Hi, how are you? Welcome to the live. This is Oliver from One and Doing Company. Currently, uh, we are checking about uh, this equipment and it, there is a really special design we adopt here. Check about the pipe. One pipe, it is thicker and one is thinner. One thicker, one thinner. That is how we made for this one to prolong the uh, evaporating process here. If you're interested about this equipment, type something, please type something. Uh, for this airflow drying is a really efficient drying equipment for powdery materials which is mainly used for drying all kinds of starch or flour and air uh, the airflow drying had the characteristics of large processing capacity short drying instinct drying uh, short drying time continuous and stable operation easy to control small investment and convenient operation here And there is one thing I want to stress uh, again for this equipment inside of the pipe it is about the negative pressure which will not cause of problems of like all the uh, starch will easily to 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 fly out of the pipe and according to the different size and processing need the layout for this air drying system it is totally totally different which can be twisted in multiple directions but overall, the height it is certain, uh, generally more than 20 meters high, which will be higher than the roof. So this is our uh, air drying system. And there are two steps. If you're curious about any part of this processing line, type something in the comment let me know that. This is Oliver from Hunan Dream Company, and our company and our uh, factory is all located in Hunan province in China. If you do want to have a visit, easily type something in the comments to let me know that we do interest for all of the equipment here. And then here is the dry side, the red equipment. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, check about this one. This is our dry side. It has a relatively long drying uh, process and we are adopt about 10 mesh here. Uh, normally it is around 60 to 80 mesh and it can uh, easily to come down to cool down the temperature for the uh, starch or for the flour. And it 
uh, it can make sure the final starch quality it is relatively high according uh, can meet the standard for the national uh, requirements. And at the bottom and the final, we do have this packing equipment here. This is all the high quality of the starch. And then the packing machine, it is, uh, it is set at the last step. And uh, let us check about this one. This is our controlling room here. Uh, you can easily control every single equipment inside of the processing line to know how many materials it is get into this equipment and it, if there's something wrong, you will know it immediately. To make this whole processing line uh, working more smoothly and that is basically all for the uh, cassava starch processing line. If you do have any questions, please, please put your question in the comments. Please do that waiting for your question. All right, let's see if there's any new question here. Hey, Doran. Dorena, like your name. Let's see, he's still here. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, if you do, have, if you do like to get about our equipment, uh, please type something in the comment. Let me know that you are interested about uh, all of the single equipment or for this whole processing one so that I can definitely show you more details. And yeah, how about let's check about another video, which is the, for this one, it is the cassava starch processing line. And right now, let's directly see another one, which is the sweet potato processing line. Normally, uh, all the equipment, it is relatively the same, but also there is something different. And let's have a see. There are just one or two equipment, it is different. And after this live, our live stream will be end. After this video, uh, the live will, will be end today. So if you didn't follow about our uh, store or our uh, channel, please right now, give me a follow. Next time we do the live stream, will be noticed to view. And let's just wait for more comment here. If you do, please type it in the comment area. This is the sweet potato processing line. Uh, do you guys have any questions for, for this one? If you do, let me know. Hi. Hello, welcome to the live. This is Oliver from Honanjin Company and currently we are checking about the sweet potato starch processing line and uh, this is all the equipment that we are using in our company and if you do interested the cassava starch, potato starch or sweet potato starch business, type something to let me know that you do interested about this business. I can definitely show you more details for every single equipment and uh, you can easily choose size something here. Our system can 
reach to and show more 3D videos, pictures, and more details for our equipment, for the single equipment and for the whole processing line. And by the way, our company, it is located in Henan province in China. And we do have our overseas company, which is at uh, uh, Nigeria. So you will saving a lot of... So uh, you can leave your contact information. We can send you some files about our local project case for your reference. Yeah, let me show you a little details for this one. Oh, there's something wrong with this video, I believe. Yeah, this is our cutting machine. And for the cassava starch processing line, you didn't check about the magnetic separator uh -huh. here, right? So you guys can see this one, this part, the red thing, it is our magnetic separator to separate out all the ma magnetic items like the iron, like the a uh, screw or some other like the nails to protect our equipment and then it is our raspberry here a really really high efficient raspberry here and uh, it is working as 2000 rpm for one minute really amazing can make it, uh, all the raw material gain to the starch If you do have any questions right now, please put your question in the comment. Let me know that you do interested or uh, you need anything. Or if there's no further question, uh, our live will be end pretty soon. By the way, for... Hey. Okay, let me bigger myself. And uh, there's one thing I like to stress again uh, is that we do have one year warranty for every single equi uh, single equipment here in this one year after you're done with the purchase. If there's anything wrong with the equipment, you can reach to us really, really easy because we will give you about our sales manager. You can have talk about the uh, like the deep details the every small details for the equipment here and if you need anything please let us know our business uh, our company has done the starch and flower business about 10 years already and we do accumulate so many experiences during this decade i'm sure we can help you with your starch business in some way give us a chance and we uh, reached contact with us. When you contact with us, you can easily let us know what is your like raw material, how many do you have, or how many hours do you working for one day, so that we can give you a customized design uh, by our engineering team according to your information. And also, we can give you guys about our. Uh, provides case for your reference CEPU. What is CEPU? Let me Google it. 
And if you do have any questions, let me know what is your question. Waiting for your... Oh, Philippine. So Tommy, you are from Philippine, right? I mean, I'm looking for a cassava milling here. Okay, so let me be girl of myself. Okay, that will be all for today's live, to be honest. And cur uh, currently, he's warning me that I am too small here. Oh, yes, this is right, right? This is right. And if you do have any questions right now, please put your question in the comment because after three minutes, our live stream will be end. And uh, if you like to start uh, the, the starch business or uh, flower business right now, please uh, let us know about your, how should I reach to you? Like this is really, really special. <clears throat> Currently we are showing you about the sweet potato starch processing line. <clears throat> And this at the bottom, this is a dry side to make sure the final quality for the starch uh, can be the national standards. And if there's no further question, that will be all for today's live. And wish you guys can have a really, really month, uh, <clears throat> wonderful, what day is it today? Tuesday. And this is Oliver from Honan Doing Company. If you'd like to know more information about our uh, uh, about our processing line or about any single equipment here, please let us know what you need and our engineers team can give you a customized design according to your uh, basic information like what kind of, uh, what is the material and how many raw materials you have because due to the different amount of the uh, raw materials, we have different capacity of the equipment and uh, due to, hi Floyd Tsui, welcome to the live and due to the differences of the raw materials, like potato, sweet, sweet potato, it is just kind of like one type. And there is another type, which is like the cassavas. So uh, when we deal with the cassavas, the equipment, it is totally, totally different with the equipment uh, for the potato and sweet potato, because the size of the irregularity for the raw material is different. So we do have different uh, equipment for dealing with different raw materials. And by the way, this is Oliver from Hunan County. If you do have any question, put your question in the comment because our live will be in really soon, in one minute. And if you didn't subscribe about our channel, give us a chance to follow us uh, because every week we are totally showing you guys about different things. Uh, and uh, uh, anyway, that will be all for today's live. And wish you guys can have a running high from 
from Cecil Flowers. Welcome to the live. This is Oliver. You are looking for snack machines about here. This is Oliver. Alright, that will be all for today's live. I wish you guys can have a really wonderful Tuesday. And I believe I will see you guys next time. See you guys. And also for the viewers that is from YouTube. Bye bye.